Look at that foreigner, how big her hips are. Are you a Russian prostitute? There are so many guys who approach you who have girlfriends. Bring okay. your pants, bring your shoes because people don't have as big hips here. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ryan. Today we invite a really special guest from Estonia. Uh, we're gonna talk about her life in Korea. So if you're interested in her life in Korea, please stay tuned. First of all, could you introduce yourself? So hello, I'm Mai from Estonia and I'm 23 years old at the moment and unemployed. <laughs> now I'm unemployed? <laughs> yes. So you used to work on the... Yeah, I yeah. had my own fashion brand, brand, like a sustainable fashion brand in Estonia. Yeah. And at the moment I'm doing also YouTube in Korea. Oh. Just on the side. How long have you been in Korea? So far, five months but continuously kept coming back i've been here in total like four times total four times yes so the total uh, period is how long nine months four yeah. times with nine months yes i think it's really hard to live abroad so mm -hmm. i want to ask you why you decided to come korea oh uh, well first of all i'm still a tourist <laughs> tourist so, yeah i'm on a the visa. tourist visa yes ah, okay it is sort of a trip in a way but i decided to come because i became burnt out i had my own clothes brand I kept working like all the time In and I didn't country, yeah, yeah exactly so I didn't have a personal or, like a separate life I needed to refresh myself uh, and realize like what I really want to do and if I do want to continue with my brand so it's refreshing time yes in Korea sort of. then uh, there are gonna be so many options like another country mm. except for Korea so I want to know why you choose Korea safe I feel comfortable here because I've been here many times I know the subway system I know people here yeah. so I have kind of a safety net uh, Ah, so okay. Uh, because you've been in Korea uh, three times before. Mm -hmm. I want to know what did you prepare before coming in Korea? Because language is different, uh, find a place to stay, so many things to prepare, I think. I prepared pretty much just money. <laughs> money? <laughs> money is the problem. Yeah, the money yeah. was the thing. I prepared and bought the ticket. I was the first two and a half months at my friend's place. Ah. So I didn't even have to worry about having like a place yeah. to stay. So that's what I prepared. And I worked like odd little jobs here and there yeah I, I sold berries Be berries <laughs> yeah what, what berries it berries? was like a strawberries blueberries yeah ra raspberries every, on berries. the street no no it was in a shop a shop yes ah, I like see. a mall and then yeah I did that for a while they paid well and then also I worked at a Chinese restaurant because like in Estonia if you are an artist work in fashion yeah most likely you don't make your main income the market is too small yeah in the country so it's not that a long time since you live in Korea it's it's about nine months in total. You may think of Korea would be like this before coming to Korea and it could be changed after you're living in Korea total nine months. So I want to know what changed. So the first time I came to Korea, I didn't have many expectations. I did expect the country to be very safe and yeah. I thought people were going to be very polite. Okay. And I had those expectations. But back in 2016, it was a little bit different because oh. uh, the Achashis and people overall thought that I cannot speak or understand Korean. Ah, uh, yeah. So I Usually, come yeah. and they made so many comments about my appearance. And I was 17 at the time. So yeah. for example, there was, I'm like walking and there's this uh, grandpa with his family yeah. eating samgyeopsal. Okay. And the grandpa points at me and shouts, look at that foreigner, how big her hips are. Like really? that, like, like grandpa harabaji. Uh, in Korean? In Korean. So rude. And then yeah. it's the same night. Yeah. I keep walking and I wasn't wearing anything. I'm, I'm, I'm more re revealing right yeah. now than back then. Like yeah. I didn't, I was very covered up and that like I keep walking and okay. I see this other grandpa sitting on that, probably like a, you know, delivery guy. Delivery, okay. He's si sitting there, looks up at me and he's like, are you a Russian prostitute? Really? Yeah. So rude, I think. Yeah. I was, I was shocked to be honest. When you were se just 17 years yes, old. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I think uh, we should be changed in this country. Uh, Kind of thing. I do I think, think it has changed. Changed a now. Uh, by uh, now it has. Yeah. Because there are so many foreigners here. Okay. I'm sorry for the uh, that thing. Uh, oh, why are I, you? I didn't so, do, but, but, you didn't do it. <laughs> but but uh, in my country that happened. So. No, no, you didn't need to yeah. be sorry about that. You didn't even know me back then. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't know that you were alive then. <laughs> and I want to know uh, what are the pros and cons of living in Korea. One of the pros is convenience. I think. Convenience. Everyone will say that. Uh, for example. For example. I mean, if you go out, you're hungry, you go out, you can find a place maybe in one minute from the house. Uh, this the situation is not like this in your country? Australia? No, no. No? No, of course not. Like the closest rest 
restaurant is maybe like 20 minutes by walk. It's very different. And another pro people usually are really nice. Yeah. Um, Except for some <laughs> bad, bad people. Yeah. Yeah. But like at the same time, there are like the harmonies and they're so sweet and always yeah. take care of me. Yeah. So those are the pros, I'd say. Okay. And cons. And if somebody bumps into you, don't expect them to, to say sorry. They won't. They will just bump into and continue to walk. Usually don't say sorry. Yeah. And, and also they, they don't open the door like these small little gestures Koreans don't do so like opening the door for the other person so let's say yeah going, like that's kind of like yeah something like little small things we do uh as yeah foreigners. yeah yeah i know Koreans don't do it that often i saw one korean in one five korean. months in five months we did that. okay mm -hmm. uh, that was the first thing that i su surprised when i travel mm -hmm. abroad they opened the door for me in really distance oh, really? catch the door for me <laughs> And I saw, wow, mm. so good manner. Mm -hmm. And I think we should learn that kind of thing also. Mm -hmm. Oh, another, uh, another con. So okay. if you're a foreign woman, then there are so many guys who approach you who have girlfriends. The guy who have a girlfriend approached to you? Yeah, How do you so know? many. Yeah, like 90% of the time. They ask for the phone number. Okay. I tell them I lie. I'm like, I don't have a phone number. A Korean phone number. Okay. <laughs> I have Kakao Talk. Yeah. So, okay. Exchange Kakao Talk. I open, like, autom because they're, they're kind of shocked you know, that yeah. I didn't have phone number. So they're kind of shocked, but like they gave it and they didn't remember that their cover is with their girlfriend. Or okay. there's like the day thing, like day yeah. and the heart. And so. then I like open right away Kakao Talk and see, okay, move on, <laughs> like, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so another one of the big cons in Korea yeah. is that the fruits and vegetables are so expensive. Pretty much if you don't have much money, your diet is going to be ramen and rice. <laughs> 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 ramen and rice is, yeah. is really sad. That's why another reason why I want to go to uh, Estonia. Yeah, to Estonia. I want to eat yeah. those vegetables, like steamed vegetables. Steamed? Yes, I just want steamed vegetables. Okay. That's that's how much I'm craving after uh, five months. In Estonia, cheapest things to buy. Cabbage, potato, onion, carrots. Okay. That sort of thing is very cheap. Really? Really, really, really cheap. For example, yeah. like carrots, 30 cents a kilo. Ki kilo? Yeah. Really cheap. Like, yeah, so, and potatoes too, yeah. very cheap. Oh. So you can eat vegetables non stop for a very cheap price. Yeah. But here, very expensive. I bought five potatoes for like, some month, some, no, some month, but like, <laughs> some 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 what I mentioned before, the convenience. Convenience, and okay. Transportation, transportation is so much better here because okay. it's going like it's so often. For example, the bus in front of my house is like every every thirty minutes, but here it's like every seven minutes. Also, people have houses in <laughs> Estonia. Most common like household is that you have a house and a garden and you know. Wow, I prefer that. Yeah, yeah. but that's what we have, and I've grown up with it. Everyone here has an apartment, like lives in an apartment. Also, another thing I've noticed is so many people have small dogs here small dog yes. yeah yeah like a pet tiny tiny yeah. dogs but in estonia we have like big dogs golden retriever yeah like most common are golden retriever and german shepherd and then in yeah. korea it's a gold tiny small dog yeah yeah <laughs> because house is small yeah, yeah yeah what about the safety safety and no, same same oh i think estonia is even more safe for me really ah uh, because yeah. of the uh, yeah, personal yeah because, because I'm more normal in Estonia. Okay, I yeah. see. The last question mm. is, I want to know whether you want to live in Korea for a long time or you want to go back to Estonia? Uh, well, yeah. obviously I'm going back to Estonia uh, because I miss home a little bit. But I want to come back and ideally I would love to live here for a few years. A few years? Yeah, okay. not my whole life. Like live in Korea in a way where it's like half a year in Korea, half a year, year in my country. That's more ideal because the air pollution is so bad in Korea. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, crazy. That's right. I've been sick every month. My lungs are struggling here. Yeah. I need that fresh air. Okay. So I understand when Koreans travel and they're like, <laughs> like I understand that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that when I get back to Estonia. The air is more clean in Estonia. Yeah, air okay. is more cleaner. And the nature. I mean, nature. It, I love the nature in Korea too, the mountains. Yeah. Is there anything that uh, you want to talk? So if you're planning to visit Korea, just uh, make sure to pack your bags well. <laughs> Bring your own shampoo, shampoo. And, like shampoo and hygiene products because I feel like in Korea, people's hair is different. So the shampoo here doesn't fit me and I had to wash my hair with it for a few months, two months. 
pants, my hair became so flat. And also pants and shoes, because people don't have as big hips here as us. Okay, bring okay. your pants, bring your shoes, because probably your feet are bigger than theirs. But that only can be applicable if you have a big hip and big Oh, we, yeah, If even like my short little Estonian friends, they can't buy pants here. Really? Yeah, because they have more hip than the Asian person. Wow, I should move to Estonia. Oh, I mean, we have the most models per capita in the world, so you'll have fun. Oh, really? And <laughs> I'm not saying this only to girls, but also to guys. Bring okay. your own stuff, yeah. It, even though people come here thinking, oh, I can shop the K-style, the Korean ah, fashion, okay. you know, everyone's excited about it. Anyway, thank you for watching our video. We're gonna see you guys in the second episode. We're gonna talk about, yeah, really interesting thing in the second episode. Mm. Being a white woman in Korea. Oh. We're gonna talk about it. If you okay. think this video was worth your time, then yeah. make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe because wow. it's gonna make me more. Cool. Yeah, see you Bye. in the next video. Bye-bye.